Hello friends, I'm going on a, a walk in the woods. We are, we, we had a beautiful Sabbath today. Now we're going for a walk and we decided to explore the outdoors. Just walked up to, you can't see it very well cause it's dark, but we went up to the top of that rock and uh, we went six miles up the mountain. It's a very curvy road, but it's gorgeous out here. I'm sad to say this will probably be my last time here for the rest of my life. It's been a while. I don't know where God has me to go, but this is my last day, uh, well, last, last Sabbath in California. And it has been quite the journey. I've had a, a lot of beautiful lessons here. And in all reality, this has been the best two years of my life. I am so thankful for the time that I've had here, the people that I've met. It has been quite an experience. The, the people have been wonderful and it's really been a blessing. I have grown so much. I've learned so much. The opportunities that I've had, the privileges. I mean, I don't know how God does it, but each day is getting better than the last and the next place there's always something better and that's how God wants us to live our life he loves us so much and how whatever good thing is going on when God takes something good he gives us something better because that's the watchword of education Jesus said I come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly this is what God is offering us abundant life not just surviving God doesn't just want us to survive, He wants us to thrive. And when we follow a life with Him, we get to experience that great joy and that peace and that love. And so it's really a blessing to be able to experience life with friends. Here are some of my other friends who were walking about. My friend has my water bottle and so he just grabbed that from the crick. Yes, I said crick. And, um, but I just wanted to encourage you all. And I wanted to show you this nice experience that I get to have over here is an old pioneer cabin. You see, someone came over here and built this cabin here. Uh, we're on a national forest, but he built this a long time ago. I mean, this is old style cabin. This is no man's land. No one's allowed to build here now. But this building, it's grandfathered in. So that is pretty neat. I've seen the owner who was up there one day and that was, uh, it was really neat to see him. He didn't seem to be too happy to, to be uh, having visitors, but it's not his property. It's out in the forest. There's, there's a campground that's right on the other side of those here sticks over there. And, um, but we are actually on our way back. And um, some I wanna share with you also some things that I learned in the health nugget today. He was showing the importance of the immune system and some of the things that weaken the immune system being um, sugar. Sugar weakens the immune system. And uh, he was saying that there's no reason, or there's no coincidence why the uh, flu season is five months. There are five reasons for the, the flu. And that is Thanksgiving, Halloween, uh, Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day. And I heard that and I was like, wow, that makes sense. Because during those five holidays, people are gorging themselves with all sorts of sugar and it destroys the immune system and it makes it a lot harder to fight off the flu bug. The flu virus is always around. It's always in the air and it's, and it's going to and fro. But why is it during those five months it's the flu season? It's because that's when we weaken the immune system the most. So it's connected. He was also showing that um, not drinking enough water would also weaken our immune system because the water is what flushes out the toxins. It's the basic need of the human body, of the cell. And it, um, the, the cell is the foundation of the human body because um, cells form tissues and tissues 
form organs or organs form systems and that is what our our body is made of and so the when we don't get the water to ourselves there's Tina over there she's looking at something when we don't get the uh, the water to our cells then it builds up toxins and it gets a lot more isn't it kind of neat when you get to see snow in may it's what happens when you're really high elevation <laughs> hey johanna i was oh speaking of water mm. this is really cool it just it the thank you michael it just came from um uh, i had it rested in the in the creek so that it can keep it cool and it worked really well it's colder now than when i first came um norman no i don't know where norman is do we need to go get him okay well another one is exercise and exercise helps you to fight off um to strengthen your immune system as well that allows you to um, to help protect yourself that promotes circulation in your circulatory system which produces more uh, white blood cells perfect circulation is perfect health and a lot of times we underestimate how important our immune system is oh they're calling for me I guess he was already at the van and rest is very important as well Rest is, um, when we don't get rest, the proper rest, a lot of times we pride ourselves with uh, being able to stay up late and wake up early, but when we don't get enough rest, then our bodies are not able to produce the, the brain chemistry that it needs. That's when our cells are able to rest and repair themselves. It, it improves our memory. Um, and and the lack of rest also weakens our immune system. I can say from my personal experience, I don't get sick very often, but the times that I get sick have often been followed by periods of long sleep deprivation. Maybe a few days that I haven't been able to sleep for a while or I've been working too much. And I, I can tell when, when my body's exhausted, I know my immune system is weakened and is ready to um, get sick, unfortunately. There's a verse in Proverbs chapter 26 and verse two, it says, as the bird by wandering has a swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. Here's our medical missionary van. But the, um, that means every single curse, every disease, every sickness, it has a cause. They're not just happenstance. It doesn't spontaneously combust. Or God doesn't just touch one person and say, you're sick, you're not, you're sick. It, there's a cause, there's reasons. God has put, just like he has created the moral law, he has created natural law. And all nature is governed by this natural organic law. Every human being, man, woman, and child, believer, or non-believer, should learn about the laws governing our health our organism and how we can prepare it in the right way and we should learn how to um, how truly we are fearfully and wonderfully made that God desires us to um, in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 he says beloved I wish, wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers so God cares about your physical health just as he cares about your spiritual well-being and so in order to glorify God we need to be healthy because it, when we're unhealthy unfit then we're not able to fulfill as perfectly God's glorious plan for our lives one last thing that affects um, our immune system is antibiotics now antibiotics um, anti means like against and then bio, bio means life so antibiotics it means it's anti-life it kills what is alive so it's it's um, it kills the germs the bad germs but it also kills the good bacteria and the good 
the good things that are in our system, it just does complete annihilation to all of it. And what happens when we take antibiotics over a long period of time, it weakens our, our immune system and our body's defense against invaders and our, the proper functioning of our health. So it's, um, it, it's something to consider a lot of times, um, and I'm not saying that everybody uses antibiotics is bad or, or they're doing the wrong thing, but um, it just over a long period of time, it, um, it, de it destroys our immune system. And a lot of times antibiotics are given to treat a symptom and not actually the cause. And how much better it would be if we deal with the cause of the problem. We would do well to learn the cause prevention, uh, the, the um, cause, the disease is its cause prevention and cure for each of these things. Because once we, as Job says, uh, the cause which I knew not, I searched out. Once we search out the cause, then we'll be able to help change that and you won't have to deal with the symptoms. The symptoms will go away if you just deal with the cause. And antibiotics oftentimes are not dealing with that. And it also strengthens the viruses and the, the uh, bacteria because they learn to adapt to the antibiotics that are given. Then you have to give even stronger antibiotics and that's where you get these super bugs like MRSA and staph infection which is caused by the overuse of antibiotics. So next time that you're given antibiotics, I, I would encourage you to just be cautious because they, they hand it out like candy at, at, um, in a lot of places, but um, it, it's not very good for the immune system. There are some other natural antibiotics like, um, like turmeric, like garlic. Garlic is an antifungal, antibacterial, antiseptic, it's, and it's very helpful for the immune system, and it's a natural blood thinner. But um, these are some of the things that help to weaken the immune system. I learned that in the, um, in the health nugget today. And it was like really powerful. I was greatly encouraged. I don't know about you, but I want to follow all of God's natural laws. There's a song that I want to sing for you real quick. It helps you to remember what the laws of health are. And it goes, disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from a violation of the laws of health. In case of sickness, the cause should be ascertained and unhealthful conditions should be changed and wrong habits corrected. These are the laws of health. Godly trust and open air, daily exercise, sunshine, proper rest, lots of water, always temperate, nutrition. These are the laws of health. All right, these are the laws of health, friends. There's God's plan is the acronym to remember it, G-O-D-S-P-L-A-N. When you follow all the eight laws of health, you'll be able to experience great uh, peace. Have they that love thy law and nothing shall offend them. God's going to protect you and strengthen your immune system when you do so.